Hello and welcome back to Educator.com and AP Psychology. In this unit, we're going to be taking a look at learning. How do we learn? And the different kinds of learning processes and styles that are available. And so uh, the first one we're going to be looking at is going to be classical conditioning. But first, let's take a look at an overview from the College Board. The College Board has learning at between 7 and 9%. So that means on the multiple choice questions, seven, eight, or nine questions are going to be dealing with the learning unit. And there's almost always a learning concept that is on an FRQ on the second part of the AP test. In this entire unit, we're going to be looking at classical conditioning, operant conditioning, cognitive processes involved in learning, biological factors, and social learning. Now, it says here that the course introduces you to the differences between learned and unlearned behavior. It does. Um, Primary focus is on the exploration of different kinds of learning, including classical, operant, and observational learning, and of course the biological bases that help us have predispositions for learning. A little hint for you though. If you miss this, misuse this unit, you may be able to learn how to manipulate people with psychological techniques. So you gotta be careful not to misuse what we're learning here in this unit. Now, objectives from the College Board. Um, you can, uh, the, the, these are on the links that are uh, available, but these are the general differences between classical, operant, and observational. And we're going to be, and these are some terms you're going to need to know. Acquisition, extinction, spontaneous recovery, generalization, discrimination, and higher order learning. So these are some terms that will be explained throughout these, uh, uh, these segments. But again, more terms that you probably already have seen acquisition. You've probably already seen extinction, dinosaurs. You've probably already seen the word spontaneous, just happened out of the blue. You've already seen the word recovery. Well, that's what happens after a workout. So you've probably seen all these words and you have everyday terminology to use them for, but they have specific psychological definitions and meanings. And so in this unit, we are going to look at the psychological definitions. And that's where we're going to have to unlearn some stuff and relearn some new stuff. In operant conditioning, we're look at, look, going to look at positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, punishment, and what are called schedules of reinforcement. And we're going to be looking at how to predict behaviors when we look at this. More objectives from the College Board uh, describe the essential characteristics of insight learning, latent learning, and social learning. Apply learning principles to explain emotional learning, taste aversion, superstitious behavior. We're going to find out why people get superstitious here. And what's called learned helplessness. We're going to look at behavior modification. That was that manipulation piece I was telling you about earlier. Uh, look a little bit at biofeedback, coping strategies, and self-control, and how they can be looked at to use uh, to look use them to look at and address behavioral problems. And then some names that you're going to need to be familiar with, and I'll be highlighting these throughout the units: Albert Bandura, John Garcia, Ivan Pavlov, Robert Rescorla, B.F. Skinner, Edward Thorndike, Edward Tolman, and John B. Watson. So that's what the College Board says that they want you to know from this unit. So let's look at what we really need to know. Let's look at the details.